The following is rated S for spoilers. In a dilapidated world where replayability is almost non-existent and content is baby birded to you via DLC, comes a sequel to the NRA's version of Dark Souls, where it won't be the brutal difficulty or mechanics that will leave you in despair, but realizing that there was a whole lot of loot you missed. Remnant 2 Shoot wildly at the abominations of Remnant 2, the sequel to one of the best in the Soulsborne genre, that basically gives you all the stuff you liked before, except now, there's more of it which means getting more weapons than a Midwestern Walmart, coupled with the same great mechanics and exploration, makes it feel like it isn't just the same game with a two slapped on the end. What? Favoritism? Do you think I can be bought with a few cool new weapons? Yes, yes I can. I mean, look at this one. A deer comes out of it. If you're wreaking havoc with Laser Bambi and it isn't your game of the year, I really question your standards. Tangle with the root once again, as you control the hapless traveler, a completely normal pedestrian wading through the wastelands of a raised earth to find shelter, who unfortunately stumbles into facing down heinous monstrosities to save the universe, all because you helped a dirty, sketchy old man open a portal to another dimension. Huh, this is all oddly familiar. Well, beloved Dub Dub! Then explore the many different worlds you're thrown into like James Cameron Avatar Forest, that crappy peasant town in Bloodborne, copyright infringement Prometheus, Stargate Wholesalers, and Detroit. As you destroy all the furniture in each one, like your link on a drunken rager. <laughs> in an epic adventure of species extinction proportions that will have you making important world-altering choices which usually means picking the choice where you fight the guy. Did I have to kill him? No, not really. But would I do it all over again just to get the most minuscule reward? You bet your sweet butt I would. And I'll f do it again. Get trigger happy with Remnant's gunplay, which will have you experimenting with weapon matchups like you're at a swingers party. Then hoard all your gear like a dragon with separation issues as you pair them up with your dual archetype class and traits so you can create multiple play types featuring the cheesiest builds that will make you nigh unkillable as you fumble through pages and pages of tiny text to find equipment that suits your playstyle, but realistically maybe use once just because you got something a tiny bit better. Then bring your build into the larger than life boss fights that will have you rolling around like you're on fire, which you probably are to use your weapon mods and skills in hopes of burning the boss down as soon as you can, so you can run back to the war to turn their appendix into a gun or whatever. In gameplay that gives you the choice of how brutal you want it, assuming you don't just get your dog to carry you or have a way stronger player passenger princess you through everything. Wow, I think I get it now. I mean, those beefy metal encased biceps just make me feel so safe. Rediscover the best mechanic of Remnant the adventure mode. As you replay the procedurally generated levels, because there is absolutely no way to get everything on your first run, where maps have different layouts and storylines, but most importantly, different stuff, that you can only pray to RNGesus your role in hopes of running into it the first time, all because you saw someone on multiplayer with a shiny thing you liked. Then play through biomes over and over again only to miss a step and then have to re-roll the map, as each run is full of secrets that will require different parts of the map that you don't have, that you'll have to mine the internet to even know exists, or hop into someone else's and hope they just find something for you if they don't just kill you in the process. You know my favorite part of exploring is playing good hole or bad hole? You know, where you dive into a hole hoping it has a secret? Oh crap, this was a bad hole. So don that archetype armor and get ready to watch a bunch of YouTube videos in a successor to the title that actually feels like they did a lot of new and interesting things that will make you wish that there were more games like this after you're done picking and clean for hours like the vulture you are. 
which for 50 bucks is definitely more game than anyone is giving you in this day and age. And I'm not just talking about going around picking up rocks. Looking at you, Starfield. Starring Double Mint Douche, Girl of My Nightmare, That No Face Dude from Spirited Away, The Ultimate IUD, Rabies Clifford, Potato That You Left Out Too Long, The Worst Boss Battle To Ever Exist, The Unforgiving Tree, and The Gear Gremlin, Elden Bling. I'm just really glad that this game is keeping up the tradition of the second entry being the most iconic title of the series. What do I mean? Assassin's Creed 2? Dead Space 2? Spider-Man 2? Babe 2? Pig in the City? Shrek 2? I, uh, I'm wearing ladies' underwear! <laughs> Are you? I think I've proven my point. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. You have no purpose because you fear to seek one. You may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Wait, was this Skyrim in space all along? Always has been. Good evening, boppers. I am Richter Belmont, last descendant of the Belmont clan, and I kill vampires.